welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Priyanka and I hope you all are doing great. So today's video is another exciting video for me because today finally I feel that I can afford to buy an iPhone for myself. I have been waiting and longing for a long time to get an iPhone from myself and finally that day has come so let's go to the store and explore what all options we have and what I can afford to buy and I'm also taking my old phone this is the Samsung A51 uh, uh, in which I have uh, you know recorded most of my videos and let me see I'm taking this as along with me let me see if I can get a good exchange rate then I may exchange this phone as well so let's go Android user for me everything is same. For you everything is done. This is pro and this is the normal one. Mere mobile sa to same hi lag raha hai. But uh, yeah, the pro is brighter actually. This is the pro and both has action mode. So there are four variants of the iPhone 14 series. The first one is iPhone 14 Pro Max. This is the one. It has a screen size of 6.69 inches. And the other one is iPhone 14 Pro, which has a screen size of 6.1 inches. Both these phones have same features with the same camera quality. The only difference between these two phone is of the screen size. The next variant is iPhone 14 Plus and iPhone 14 uh, the basic one. The difference between these two is again the screen size. This is the iPhone 14 Plus which has a screen size of 6.69 inches and uh, the other one is iPhone 14 which has a screen size of 6.1 inches. Again this two variant has all the all same features only the screen size is differing. Now the Pro series and uh, the iPhone 14 normal one has a lot of difference in terms of camera and obviously the price also uh, had differed from uh, the two variants and uh, when I went I went with the mindset of buying iPhone 14 uh, because that I thought would fit my budget but seeing the difference between the camera I really went for iPhone 14 Pro because the camera of iPhone 14 Pro was much much better than iPhone 14. I was absolutely very happy because this was the first time I was buying an iPhone and that too out of my own hard earned money. It really gave me a lot of joy. So you can either opt for paying in cash or you can also go for Bajaj Finance or HDFC Finance that can be arranged in the Imagine showroom itself. You can opt for 12 months AMI or 24 months AMI according to your convenience. Also, when you are buying an iPhone, they will give you an USB but you have to buy the adapter like the charger adapter which will cost you around 2000 rupees. I also got my old phone exchanged at a price of 5500 rupees. You can also choose from a lot of color options. There were deep purple, silver, black and even if you are taking iPhone 14 plus then there is blue as well but I chose this classic gold color. Congrats!
I took the iPhone 14 Pro with a storage capacity of 128 GB but you can take a higher storage as per your need as well. There are a lot of accessories available in the Imagine store itself but I thought the price was a little on the higher side so I went out and uh, got all the accessories from a local shop but you can check the accessories here at, as well. There are tempered glasses, back covers and even lens covers from the Imagine store itself or you can go out and check your local store for a good quality uh, under a low budget as well. I am very excited to explore my new phone and especially I am excited to start vlogging in this new iPhone and bring the best of whatever I can to you people. I hope you all liked this video. If you did so then don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more content and I will see you soon with a lot of vlogs from this iPhone. Till then take care of yourself. Bye.